point, the only show for us to look forward to right now is Echo, which went from a six-episode series to a five-episode series. So I think it's now four episodes that may come out sometime in February of next year. So you still have that deaf, one-legged, Native American, possibly lesbian superhero <laughs> movie coming out, and it's going to be absolutely amazing. But, Rick, I'll start this one off of you, Mr. MCU aficionado. Um, what do you think about uh, Disney completely butchering uh, Daredevil to the point where they can't even release what they've already done because it's so embarrassing to think about. I'm I'm very disappointed because, uh, as we know, the MCU is a turning point in cinematic history. Uh, I mean, we will judge history, all of human history, based on pre and post Endgame. Um, look, it's going to be difficult to to save this show, even if they decide to keep some of the episodes or footage. Because what you're really doing is you're going to have a hodgepodge. You're, you're going to put in footage that was shot when it was in the original 18 uh, episode series, and now you're going to try to p insert new scenes into this. There's no one in charge. That's the, that's the problem. There's no one in charge. No, no one is overseeing this. This is why you need the showrunner. This is why you need a singular creative vision. So you're just going to just try to throw everything into this. I was reminded of when they tried to do a Wonder Woman pilot, that was a Wonder Woman series, and that was with um, David E. Kelly, uh, which I did not uh, purchase uh, at a con. I did not purchase it. And I did not see it. But it was really bad. It was so bad that they just would not release it. You can just imagine Disney, which has apparently a lot of resources, looking at this footage having already planned it out and saying no we can't release this the way you guys created it we're going to butcher it we're going to take bits and pieces here and there we're going to put in new scenes and to answer your question real quick jacob the reason that they made that change is because they know better they believe that they know better so of course they're going to do something the way they want to do it because they know better we want to see more uh, uh, pro uh, legal procedurals like She-Hulk, I guess. And we don't want to see a Daredevil fighting and killing or not killing. I don't know. But I, but I like know. legal procedurals. Like, like I like those kinds I, of shows. And it's I can not, imagine. They, yeah. they didn't make a good one. <laughs> yeah, I, I can imagine you No, not, not only did they not make a good one, the member uh, last year, the writers of She-Hulk even publicly admitted they had no idea how to write a good law show and they were doing a character about a lawyer. So it's like, oh yeah, we're going to do an a, a eight series uh, miniseries about, <laughs> about a, a, a lawyer and we have no idea how to write law TV whatsoever. I, like, no, they I would have hired David E. Kelly they literally could have hired the they guy. could have hired literally anyone well, else <laughs> uh, that's right. david e kelly was the guy who tried to give us a wonder woman that was far that was trying far too hard to be clever by by making it far too convoluted uh, i mean not having seen the the pilot or the unaired pilot it was just a total disaster it was just embarrassing um Again, I wonder at a certain point, do these writers and producers, do they have genuine contempt for for both their audience and the source material? To yes. Yes. To not <laughs> I've had to deal with them for like the past few months and they're um they're still attacking me because I called them out on their shit and then they block me as soon as they're done. And most of the people it's just like with She-Hulk. They've never, in the case of One Piece, I've seen so many people saying, we never watch One Piece. We never, uh, we are not interested in One Piece, but we know this character is transgender. It's like, what? That's, that's what I mean by in um, the West too. These people don't respect the source material. Then They never will because they want to um, put their activist agenda in um, a lot of movies nowadays. And I'm just hoping that this writer strike Purge them out of of uh, Hollywood. Oh well, no. It, it, people were just double down. That's a sad thing. People are just doubling down on this, and they're going to present um, a series that I guess is not going to fit into the the movies that are coming out. What was that uh, thing that we were all laughing about? How you have to watch like sixteen hours of Disney content to try to understand the Marvelettes. Who, who really has time for all of that? Who cares to watch 16 hours of 
other things. Yeah, because you have to watch all of WandaVision and all of Miss Marvel in order to even know who those two characters are they're putting in the movie. And then, of course, you also have to watch uh, Captain Marvel and Endgame to even know anything about Captain Marvel as well. So, yeah, that's that. Um, television has now come with homework assignments in order to, to watch now. This is where we're at. This is the opposite of when they adapted uh, radio shows and TV shows into movies. Because I think they had an R. Miss Brooks movie. They started to make a I Love Lucy movie where it was just basically like some episodes thrown together and tied in. Now we have to watch endless shows that nobody really cares about. Maybe that's the thinking that, you know, if they make these, if we make all of these shows, they'll have to watch so that they can watch the movie that people don't care about anymore. Because... Nobody really cared about uh, Quantum Mania. Nobody cared about whatever, what, Guardians Three. I mean, nobody really cares about these things anymore. No. The audience has left, but the and the tracking for uh, the Marvels is already really bad. And that's a movie that they spent at least three hundred million dollars production only. So that's probably going to lose a massive amount of money too. Yeah, Listen, but at least I... we still have Echo. We still still have Echo, and we yep. will watch Echo. I have almost nothing positive to say about Marvel or the MCU, but I, I will say this. There is some incredible writing for it, it, it just in general, but for a superhero or comic book kind of show, there is just some incredible writing, especially for the Kingpin, um, you know, Matt Murdock's character, his background, you know, that they do in season one. That's just like, I, I love so much of what they did. And the fact that they ruined a perfectly good show like that, I, I just, it's just like, what is wrong with you? What is wrong with you? You literally had something genuinely compelling and they just, they yeah. make it the most ridiculous tear down. We're going to ridicule this character you like so much. And again, I have almost no, you know, I have no um, skin in the game, really. You know, I'm, I'm out on Marvel, but that first season, especially the second season was good too, but that first season, especially Daredevil was so well done and, yeah. It's just so disappointing that they would they would ruin it. Like that. Cider can attest to this too because we did the Black Pill stream last week and a couple of notes from that one. I asked Spencer this too last week. It was like, was there anything preventing the writers from the Netflix show from doing the Disney show? It was like there's some kind of conflict with the networks where they weren't allowed to do it? And to my knowledge, there was nothing preventing them from hiring those guys from the show to just do another season, which would seem to be like the the move to make. Like I said, people actually like the Netflix Daredevil series. Why wouldn't you just uh, do another season of that just to try to take all the same character actors Charlie Cox and Vincent D'Onofrio we're going to bring all of those uh, characters back for a new season but none of the writing is going to be the same as it was for the other show so it's like then why are we doing any of this why are we even wasting our time with any of these characters it is going to be absolutely nothing like the show whatsoever and then just to show you just how terrible these writers are like on the Black Pill stream like literally me, Cider and like Spencer and a couple other guys were like we really pulled out a, a Derek devil plot out of our butts which is like 20 times more entertaining than anything that they're doing with this show whatsoever and this, this is the problem here devil. like you used to be able to put people in a room and have a pitch meeting and like throw together ideas and like see what they can run with it just seems like hollywood doesn't work that way like anymore like at all like they don't they don't have any kind of like, like if, if three guys who know nothing about uh, day to day television episodic writing come up with a better show than people who are getting paid six figures by one of the biggest entertainment corporations in the world. That's a serious problem. And this is why you guys are worried about computers taking your job at this point.